Mr. Howard, there is a blue card from Mr. Coburn. Would you like to accept it? Please. Thank you, Mr. Howard. It's always fascinating listening to you. Uh, but I do believe you're from the northeast, am I correct? Yes. I was originally. I represent the southeast. You represent the southeast. Well, how are you going to explain to the people who elected you, the ordinary working people of Britain, that you do not want our 35 billion back? That's a lot of hospitals. That's a lot of infrastructure. That's a lot of nurses. How are you going to explain that, sir? They have decided to leave. Try and explain it to me, sir. I'd love to hear. Uh, well, first of all, I will not allow... Mr. Coburn, to put words into my mouth, I have never said that I don't want the, Europe, the uh, European Investment Bank to return the British investment stake in it, but it has to be able to return that stake over a period in which the loans that the UK has received, which I've already told him are worth £30 billion, are amortised, and therefore you will find that the return of that stake and the other things actually cancel each other out. And when you talk about ordinary people, let's talk about what this investment has delivered, like secondary schools in exotic places like Yorkshire, like Crossrail in London and the Thames Valley in my constituency, like the Thames Tideway Tunnel, like smart meters for seven million homes in the United Kingdom that enables those people to save energy and pay less for their energy. Why will you not join me in backing the UK's continued involvement with this uh, investment bank if and when we do leave? Thank you very much.